Today we're going to have a quick look at some of the myths and the important issues surrounding ground source heat pumps. We're in the plant room of a 6,500 square foot country house and behind me is a ground source heat pump installation and I'll just give you a few of the pointers to the things that really matter. So this is the ground source heat pump itself. This is fed from ground loops that are run around the fields outside. A really important issue with ground source heat pumps is that those loops are properly designed. Often people will try and shrink them into smaller trenches with slinky pipes in and what we should always remember is that ground source heat pumps work on the principle of extracting a very small amount of energy from a big area. So if we get that equation wrong and we try and take too much heat out of too small an area, the whole system will start to drive down temperatures and efficiencies will drop significantly. So that's really important to avoid that. Alongside the heat pump you'll see the hot water cylinder here. You can see it's a large cylinder because we store energy in for hot water at slightly lower temperatures than you would with a traditional boiler system. That again is important because it helps us improve the efficiency of the heat pump itself by keeping those temperatures down. Behind me is the large buffer tank for the underfloor heating. Again, same principle, you have a large energy store and you keep it as low temperatures as possible to meet the requirements of the house. So the heat pump is intelligent, it looks at the outside air temperature, the heat demand from the house itself and sets the temperature that it keeps the buffer at to maintain the house temperature. So they're clever bits of kit but they don't need any maintenance really but they do need to be properly designed and carefully installed to achieve the initial expected outcomes.